Do you want to learn about a Costa Rican dish that is cheap, authentic, and tastes incredible? Well, if so, you've come to the right place. It's time to learn about the Casado. So the word casado actually means married man. So if your girlfriend tells you she's going for a casado, don't freak out. Then I'm going for a casado. Casado? Ah! No one knows exactly where the name came from, but the story goes that Costa Ricans would go to local restaurants and ask to be fed like a married man. So a big plate full of food. This is tamarindo. It's juice made from tam tamarind? Is that how you say it in English? I don't really know what tamarind is, but... Tamarind, tamarind, tamarind. But I can tell you that this juice, which is popular in Costa Rica, is absolutely delicious. It tastes kind of like a iced tea with lemon, but there's something unique about it. There's something that gives it... Tamarind. Tamarind. What does it all mean? Why are we here? Almost like almost like a, a ginger flavor or something like that. What is tamarind? What, what's your name? I'm Alberto. Hey Alberto. Mexican. Okay. Uh, not from Costa Rica. Alberto the Mexican. What can you tell us about this juice today? Well, tamarind grows in a very cold tree. Originally it was brought from Africa. I don't know. Centuries ago. Yeah. And it grows inside a pot and it's like a paste. It's very sour. The pulp is taken out of there and sweetened and then uh, diluted with water. Ah. That's tamarind. Alberto saw me talking about the uh, tamarindo juice and he immediately said, Are you a blogger? And I said, Yeah. And he started to explain what I didn't know about the juice. So I just went, Phew. can I put you on my video? And he laughed and said, okay, so. That's sour, that's what gives it that special taste. Yeah, you know it's like sweet and sour? Well, sugar is added, of course. Uh, uh, in Mexico, you can find it also blended uh, with salt, and of uh -huh. course, with chili powder. Well, that's great. It's pretty cool. Well, thanks for sharing. Pleasure. If I make it to Mexico City, I'm gonna hit you up. Give me a call. All right, brother. Take care. Nice to meet you. <laughs>
There's only four million Costa Ricans. And the food they do have, like the casado, you can't go wrong. But yeah, I have never had a casado meal that I haven't finished, and I've never left with a hungry stomach. Hey Nari, thanks for your help with this video. No problem. Oh wait, you're not supposed to be in this one. So one little tip if you are eating food in Costa Rica. Tipping isn't really expected in Costa Rica. Uh, if you go on like a, let's say you go on a jungle tour or something, I would definitely tip your tour guide. But for the average meal, you'll sometimes notice restaurants say that a tax and service charge, 10% service charge and 13% tax is gonna be added to your bill. That's usually at the touristy places. So when you think about it, that's almost 25%. That's like a quarter of your price being added on. So a $30 meal becomes 40. But local places like this, I mean, I don't know if they actually pay tax. Maybe they just include the tax in uh, the, the, the cost of the item. But the point is you pay what you see. So if your meal is 4,000, you're paying 4,000. So guys, that's it. That's Casado, cheap and delicious, can't go wrong. Do you guys have any more foods you want me to try? Anything else you want me to talk about? Do you want me to talk about that big pile of rocks? Hallelujah. As always, I'm Dan from The New Travel, and I will see you on the road.